Hi, welcome to the Atomic Wallet channel. Today, I'm going to briefly tell you what Digibyte is and about its native DGB token. So, we want to explain in a few words what Digibyte is and what DGB is, and why you should consider having them on your roadmap to build a solid cryptocurrency portfolio and live a future of financial relaxation. First of all, what exactly is Digibyte? Digibyte is a blockchain, that is a transaction record that allows that the operations carried out in a system could be safely registered and easily verified without the need to resort to an intermediary, like a bank. A blockchain resides somewhere in the cryptosphere and is maintained and updated by nodes. Digibyte has become one of the safest, longest, and most decentralized UTXO blockchains in the cryptosphere. Uh, UTXO? What is that? Digibyte uses the same consensus protocol as Bitcoin, that is proof of work or POW, and many of Bitcoin's methods. UTXO is an acronym that means unspent transaction output, and it's used by Bitcoin. Digibyte does not keep track of each account's balances, but rather determines that the amount of DGB a person has is the sum of the unspent transactions. Each UTXO is a check in our favor. No way, no. Once the UTXO is spent and registered on the blockchain, it cannot be used in another transaction because the miners would reject it. Initially, Bitcoin led the way, making those miners agree to save that information with the aforementioned proof of work protocol. Proof of work turns out to be very safe, but it consumes a lot of power and is really slow. So then Ethereum showed us a much bigger project, an EVM or Ethereum virtual machine, which is a gigantic machine distributed all over the planet. Each Ethereum node is part of that computer. With Ethereum, not only can value be transferred as in the case with Bitcoin, but now any computing work can be done on the network because that network is not a network. It's a huge Turing complete computer. The ETH token is a utility token that is used to pay for the transactions that are carried out on this planetary-sized computer. Ethereum's consensus protocol at its birth, and until the end of 2020, was also proof of work, like its daddy Bitcoin. But why all this explanation, and what does it have to do with Digibyte? Well, Digibyte looks like Bitcoin, but now it looks like Ethereum too. Digibyte uses proof of work, but allows smart contracts to run on its platform. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Digibyte was launched on January 10th, 2014 by an entrepreneur and programmer named Jared Tate. He had a very clear objective, to develop a cryptocurrency with fast transactions and that is more secure than those that were offered until then in the market. Jared had also worked with the Bitcoin development team since 2012. In 2013, he proposed a series of major changes to the Bitcoin core protocol that resulted in the creation of Digibit in 2014. Digibyte was also the first major blockchain to adopt Segregated Witness, or Sedgwit. So if you're a little confused about what is Sedgwit, follow along. Sedgwit is a solution devised in order to solve the problem of the possible manipulation of Bitcoin transactions, also seeking to improve its scalability. Digibyte blocks occur every 15 seconds, which is 40 times faster than Bitcoin. The early adoption of Sedgwit allows up to 1,066 on-chain transactions per second, with negligible fees. In October 2017, DGB had a value of $0.0087 and a volume of 23,000. In December 2020, it had a value of $0.019 and a volume of 1.1 million. Digibyte is really decentralized. It never received money from an ICO. It doesn't even have a CEO, and no company controls the Digibyte blockchain. The platform is comprised of a three-layer sandwich. The top layer is the applications and DigiAssets layer. Developers can place their smart contracts there to tokenize virtually any asset. The second layer is the public ledger, in which transactions are posted. The third layer is the core protocol, which provides communication and operation procedures. Any computer, server, tablet, or smartphone connected to the Digibyte network becomes a node that helps relay transactions. Digibyte uses proof of work, so the network has miners that validate blocks using five different algorithms and receive rewards in Digibyte coins. Digibyte has a maximum issuance of 21 billion tokens, compared to the 21 million for Bitcoin. 
and that prepares DGB much better for mass adoption. The platform uses DGID, which is an identification method that removes the new username, password, and 2AF to authenticate. DGID does not store any user data on the Digibyte blockchain. So when did you first hear about Digibyte? Back in 2014? Well, if not, what do you think about it now? Let us know in the comments. Do you have Digibyte in your wallet? Tell us your story. So what do you think Digibyte is gonna do in 2021? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it below. We'll see you next time with more Atomic Wallet Insights.